Yo, what's going on guys? Steve has got some things. Oh, what do we got today to open up this thing with? Rask. Um, if you see in this video, I don't know how I'll title it, but you'll know what's in here. So, if you're in the Facebook groups, there's some drama going on with the Med in the Medford groups. Um, one of Greg's ex-employees who left now and does modifications. Just, you know, some drama of knives not getting, oops, what did I do? Knives not getting returned, knives, uh, ooh, DLT. Knives, you know, just accusations. Um, and Greg's taking a lot of heat uh, and everybody's kind of jumping on this, the modders, so he's, Greg's got a video up, go watch it, um, in the Facebook groups, they're banging on Greg and backing this guy, and he's the guy who I sent one of my knives in to get modded, oh, what the heck, neat, DLT, they showed a leather match, um, what did I get from DLT? Just a cleaning cloth. Um, so Greg's taking a lot of heat. This guy's getting backed. Um, but I know myself, it took six months to get my knife back. It was done wrong. He took credit for a grind that he couldn't do. Um, my buddy's got two knives with him. They've gone, been gone eight months. I talked to another guy uh, who had six knives with him, took six months and nine months to get some of them back. And then he sent them into the factory to Medford to fix some issues that came back from them. And he, he claimed one of those knives was a parts bin knife, but, um, one knife had to be rebladed. So, um, take what you want from all that. Uh, I know Greg's a polarizing guy. Not that he's not for everybody, but I've, you know, when I met him, super nice. Um, yeah, he he speaks his mind, and you might not agree with everything he says. And like I said, he's a polarizing guy, but I've never had any issue um, with any of their knives. And recently, I lost two work knives uh, of Medford Fat Daddy and. Uh, Medford Fighter Flipper. I only had a couple weeks with the Fat Daddy. I really enjoyed it at work. Um, loved the Fighter Flipper at work. And you know I had um, you know I have a Medford August 22nd. So fairly recent. Um, you know I've got a Medford uh, Praetorian tie. And when I bought that knife, like, I always wanted, when, once I first found them, I thought, man, that would be an awesome work knife, right? Awesome work knife. It's kind of their flagship knife. It's what they're known for. Um, and I always wanted, like I said, to carry one at work. But I couldn't bring myself, I got mine from the holiday show a couple years ago, and I just couldn't bring myself to carry that knife at work. I carry it, I EDC it. One of the things I, I, I like that knife, but one of the things I'm not a fan of, it's, it's heavily sculpted. Uh, I should have brought it down here to show you guys. It's heavily sculpted and it's, it's kind of slick in hand because of the, pe the, the way it's sculpted. They've gotten kind of shiny from carry. Um, and I wanted a flat. This has obviously got some sculpted, but I wanted the full size scale because there's quite a bit of uh, material taken out of the scales in mine, and I wanted a tanto for work, and I wanted all these, and, and, so I was looking, and I always say don't buy Medford's new unless it's a knife you actually have to have, right? Um, the secondary pricing on them is, is just too cheap to, uh, to pay for a new knife, um, but I started looking in the Facebook groups, and, they're the ones that are available are heavily sculpted like mine and I, that's just not what I wanted and I've really been a fan of 
S45 lately. Um, I am in love with S45. It's been performing great uh, for me at work. Um, that's what my Fat Daddy was in. Uh, that's what my Hinderer was in. So this one is sculpted. It's not really my style, but it's got a flat scale is what I wanted. This one, it's funny, like Medford's all their, oh, they name all their textures, right? And it's like Terminator, Predator, and there's peaks and valleys and Starburst. And this one's called like, what was this one called? It's written so tiny on here. This one's something silly like Wheats of Grass or Wheats of Blowing Prairie. Who knows? I just thought it was a silly name. Kind of funny. Um, oh, it's pretty smooth right out of the get-go. I should have brought my other. Maybe I'll do a comparison with my other um, uh, Medford Praetorian tie. Because I've had that knife two years now. Well, almost two years now. And it is finally starting to break in. That thing was just super, super um, tight. And it's taken a while to break in. This is Vulcan Blade, like I said, I want. My other one's a drop point, this is a Tanto. Uh, I want that, not that I need a beefy tip on a blade that thick, but I just wanted a Tanto for, for work. So, um, like the color, it's not bad. Like, you know, it's kind of a bronzy gold with some weird whatever. What my plan is, uh, my at work, so I, I those two Medfords I mentioned earlier, I really like those as work knives. Um, I love that uh, XM24. It's one of my favorite work knives, and then an SMF, hands down, um, my favorite knives to carry at work. Um, so I'm going to and I throw in a bunch of Chris. I, I this year I've been carrying a bunch of different knives at work. Um, throwing in some Chris Reed. I've carried Chris Reed. You guys have known. I've, I've carried a bunch of different stuff on the job site. But it's time to put Medford's flagship to the test. So I'm going to move that um, XM24, which I've had for a little over a month now. I'm still going to carry it in my, in just another pocket. And for the rest of my season, so it's the last day. It's almost October, so we don't have a whole lot of time left. We've got a month month of full work and then we move into November and November is a, might be a been here been there and a bunch of repair work um, so we'll see this is going to be my main carry knife for the rest of the year and then I'll um, come back and uh, report back on my findings for you um, and then once the season's over I might send this knife in and that's another thing Medford talked about how many shops how many knife companies are, are out there that you can send your knife back to them because they have their they call it what is it the legacy program or something you could send your medford back to medford and they'll modify it any way you want uh sky's the limit right so we'll see how this finish holds up um but i might send this back in at the end of the season and just have them pvd at black uh but this thing's smooth already, so pretty, pretty impressed with that. Ooh, this, these fat daddies are, with that ball cut fuller, it's they're kind of hard to flick out for me. You got to kind of get them way down here instead of up here. We'll, we'll test it out. We'll get. But yeah, big thick boy for work. So we'll see how this. I mean, the pocket clip I already know works great. I mean, it's a similar style, style that's on the, the fat daddy. Um, not as big. The Fat Daddy is a much longer knife, I believe. It's been so. Yeah, I'm excited to get this S45, and yeah, starting Monday, this thing will go go into the work rotation. So that's all I got for you. Just another Praetorian tie. It was something like once I first saw them, I was like, "That's boy, that would be a a knife I can." And that was early. I mean, that was like four years ago. Four years ago, maybe five years when I first saw a Praetorian tie, and at the time I couldn't afford to get a Praetorian tie, so I got the Praetorian T, and I love that knife. That one was the heavily sculpted one, and I had that forever. And then I got my Praetorian. Then I got another Praetorian that I carried for work, just a regular T, 
and it was fine, um, but just not what I wanted. And finally, I got the the tie, the thick boy, and like I said, I, I love that knife, and I do carry it in EDC that one, but it is I, like it's not as comfortable in hand, I think, because of the sculpting. Um, the sculpting, like I said, it's it's heavily sculpted and. Uh, but I hold on to it because it was my, my first one and I really like the look of it. So yeah, but cool. Like I said, not really a, I'm glad I got a flat scale. Um, usually, and I'm, usually, you know, they've got the finger grooves in here. So it's kind of nice, this thing's all flat and we'll see how it does, but I'll probably, I think this would look just pretty cool, just black PVD out. So with the Vulcan, Vulcan blade. But like I said, S45, I'm a huge fan of S45 now. Um, like I, I've always been a fan of 3V and I'm not really a steel snob, but when you find something you like and it works, um, I kind of stick stick with it or search it out. So uh, yeah, there we go, guys. Big thick boy going to work. So, and honestly, these aren't as big as you, as people think they are. They're not a super long knife. What do I got on me? Well, just a SNG, but, um, so yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.